Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu to some of you and peace out to the rest of you. You know what it is and you know who it is. It's the blackest man on YouTube. So black I could sit in your car and sneeze and tint the windows if I wanted. All right, all jokes aside, you know what I'm going to ask you to do, what I'm going to ask you to press and why I will ask you to press that. This message is part two of Sapphire Changes or She Suffers. I addressed the audience in general uh, regarding that t-shirt I'm saying that black women deserve a love that doesn't require suffering first. In this case, I'm not addressing both genders. I'm addressing you brothers. I want you to realize something right quick. Individually, I'm okay with women my age and even a little older. If they're still in shape, that's fine with me. When I look at someone like Nicole Murphy, I don't have an issue with how she looks. I got an issue with how she is based on what we know. Kay Michelle, no, she ain't even that attractive. She ain't ugly in the face, but I, I don't like no flat chest. I ain't with that. But the age is not the issue to me. But see, that's an individual thing. Most brothers ain't into women when they get that old. Most brothers don't want a woman that old unless they were with her when she was younger. You see, brothers, you gotta live with both how the woman looks and how she is. And many of you know that there's always that uh, interplay between the two because you're looking for her to be the right kind of person, but also while she's young and fine and attractive and her breasts are up and her booty ain't dragging in the sand and she ain't got them crow's feet and the wrinkles on her face and on her neck. You waiting on, you, you, you know, you wait till you find the one that knows how to act and looks the part. But you're willing to accept it if she looks the part to you, even if others ain't really checking for her like that, visually speaking. You okay with it. If you think she's crying and your boys don't notice her, you straight. You like her. They ain't like that. And this is where pessimism comes in. You see, we were taught, especially if you were my age or close to it, you were taught not to be pessimistic and thinking negatively. I'm telling you that that's actually going to be your best friend when you're plotting for the future in a world like this, but especially when you're dealing with Western women. See, while we sit up here looking for spending our youth trying to find the one who knows how to act and looks the part, we fail to understand that that bitch ain't going to grow the F up. Pardon me, I, I need a quick cuss. We fail to understand that she ain't growing up until she gets the wrinkles and her butt drags in the sand and then breasts down to her, her belly button. That, that, that's what it's gonna take. Not only is it gonna take that to develop, she has to become aware of them and notice them or else she'll never go to hell up. You see, when you a man, your appearance in the mirror might subconsciously affect how grown you act, but for the most part, it's what you've been through and what you've learned and even sometimes just what you've thought about and what someone's uh, talked to you about when they counsel or advise you. When it comes to ladies, they can grow up and be mature about every subject in the world, even their job, all the way up un until it comes to men that they're not related to but are romantically interested in. At that point, at that point, you will see that they all of a sudden have this inability to grow up and behave with some sort of maturity. They can't do it. Until, of course, like I said, them wrinkles come in and they notice the wrinkles. Them breasts sag and they notice the sag and it butt drags and, and they notice it. That's what it takes. So, brothers, all you have to have in order for you to wait, remain by yourself, all you have to have... Um, is a set of standards that pretty much includes she looks attractive to you even if not to other men but she's attractive to you and she behaves with some maturity at least the same amount of maturity you have to have to keep her and she's somehow willing she knows she's attractive and she's somehow willing to help you save money. Either she's working and helping you save that bag or you taking care of uh, all the expenses, but she's willing to purchase in a way that helps you save up a bag for later. 
all you pretty much really you could even lower your standards to this point she's attractive to you she knows she's attractive and she's willing to help you save you can even throw out the part about her being mature otherwise you can get that up you're not gonna find it you're gonna be single for a long time not because you asked for too much but because you asked for too much from the Western woman. You asked for too much from Sapphire Hell, for Be from Becky for that matter. Some of you brothers think that, oh, I'm gonna go and get me a Becky. And I'm like, no, bro, uh-uh. Now, when you're a young fella and you don't really have the money to travel, you work and you save up that money for a bag. And then you travel. And I'm not gonna tell you to travel for sex. If I wasn't Muslim, I would tell you, get a vasectomy, go trick and travel, um, spray them walls that's what I would tell you to do even if you use protection get a vasectomy just so that you couldn't be trapped by a crazy one I would tell you to do that but as a Muslim I'm not even gonna tell you to travel for sex I'm gonna tell you to travel so that you can understand what the differences are that's why I would tell you go ahead save up work on getting the bag as much as you can and tell younger brothers even before they hit puberty look man Best thing to do is learn some sort of skill. Even if you want to be a doctor, you can you can go on that path, but you need to start by trying to get another skill you can use in the meantime. And then you got something you can use to travel. Rather you and so later on, if you don't become a physician, no biggie. You got some other skill you can use to work and save up travel. And preferably a skill you can take with you to another country without a whole lot of debt. Why? Why is that necessary? Because frankly, see these women know they got you trapped. I mean, even when they don't really have you trapped, they think they got you trapped. They're so sure of it that they'll tell you they know. What does that mean for you? It's very simple. Because they're not mature, they're not going to set their behavior based on what's more. They're going to set their behavior based on what they think they can get away with. That's why it's important to not be trapped. Because it's like Edward Anderson said, the greatest power you have is choice, options. And when a woman feels like you don't have choice and options, she's going to treat you terribly. Or she ain't gonna be with you at all. Or both, one then the other. And this is even when they're not, even when they have a, a sort of moralistic upbringing brought up in the church and conservative you could marry her you could be her first you could imprint on her and you could still go through all of that because there's still the socialization outside with which she must deal so all you got to do brothers really just have some standards similar standards to what the women will have you're gonna be by yourself because you're asking for too much even when you're not asking for too much and then you get ready to go, step out abroad, and you will see just how bad it really is back there. That's why I'm addressing you this time, because I want you to understand. I told Sapphire she got to change or she going to keep suffering. But I also want you to understand that Sapphire ain't changing, and that ain't your fault. Prepare now. When you were 13, start preparing for uh, Sapphire to never change. All right. I hope that helps out. I hope it's a benefit. Assalamu alaikum, y'all.